Brooklyn, 1935 to 1945, in the middle of the Depression, planes flying over still new enough to warrant photographing. 1930s cars ruled the roads. My grandmother, Frances Syracuse D'Amico, and her friend arrived to join her daughter, Sally, her son-in-law, Charlie LaMonica, and her first grandson, Charlie Jr., at Sheepshead Bay Park. My Uncle Charlie showing off his new son to uh, my Uncle Teddy, who was wearing the hat. Interestingly enough, the first toys that uh, Charlie appears to have are a baseball glove, which would play a big part in his uh, later life, and a ball. Nana is on the left. She watches as her son Teddy becomes young Charlie's urban mount. The war in Europe rages, and although uh, we are six years from uh, getting involved, the young men of the D'Amico clan are already anticipating joining the military. This anticipation inspires these young men in their late teens and early 20s to introduce Charlie to his first gun. My Uncle Johnny joins the group uh, playing with uh, his young nephew. Uh, Johnny will end up fighting in a, the Atlantic as a member of the U.S. Navy. Young Charlie is fooled by his uh, father into believing that he's carrying this enormous piece of concrete. Charlie then drops it and young Charlie attempts to move it. And by God, he does move it a little bit. For the next feat of masculine daring do, my Uncle Charlie and young Charlie decide to go for a run. Charlie falls down, and my Uncle Charlie picks him up, and when Sally comes over to help out and to treat him for his, his uh, hurts, my Uncle Charlie tells her to go away because a boy has to be raised tough. On October 13, 1936, one month after I'm born, Charlie has his second birthday. My godfather, Randolph Syracuse, and my uncle Johnny are saluting Charlie on his birthday. A year later, I make my first cinemagraphic appearance in Charlie's backyard with a group of the neighborhood children. Charlie proceeds to give a demonstration of his early throwing ability, which in his later years would earn him uh, a tryout with the New York Giants. Apparently at this gathering was uh, a group of the Jefferson Street boys, including my father, Charlie, Johnny, Charlie Sr., Sammy, and Mo. This sequence showing Mrs. LaMonica, Charlie Sr.'s mother, gives us the first shot of what the physical buildings looked like in Brooklyn. Mrs. LaMonica is apparently waiting for Charlie Jr., who will show up a little later uh, in the clip. And this is Jefferson Street, as it was when we lived there. The boy on the right was me on the horse. The man sitting on the banister is my grandfather, Salvatore Vinciguerra of, C of Sicily, a man of who, who I love dearly. Apparently, I'm trying to emulate uh, Charlie with this throw in the hopes of getting uh, a position with the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers. The dynamic duo of Charlie and Mike seem to have repaired to my grandmother's backyard for the sole purpose of torturing Shep, Charlie's dog.
Here we're on the street on Jefferson Street and uh, shaking hands, which was the perennial thing for young kids to do in movies in those days. But notice that we also are being trained to smoke cigars. That's my Uncle Charlie, without his mustache, behind us. Charlie always loved magic tricks, and here he shows some of the boys on the block one of his best. Can you tell me what happened to those cigarettes? I can't. As Nina Syracuse defends her brother Stephen, my brother Bill makes his debut in our little film. You'll note that there's a group of boys that my father is, is dealing with, and uh, they seem to be hanging out together most of the time, and it's true that's what we did do. As you can see, we were well aware that we were moving into World War II, and we desired to be both patriotic and courageous uh, by uh, reciting the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. The birth of my sister Carol in 1945 uh, spelled the beginning of the end of our stay in Brooklyn. Here my mother is leaving the hospital uh, and uh, I and my brother are with her. She appears to be uh, under the care of my Uncle Joe D'Amico who using my father's old LaSalle car is uh, taking her to our home on Jefferson Street. Here Rosalie and Bill and I are going up the stoop steps to the house at 145 and a half Jefferson Street. I remember that address well. That appears to be Elvira with them. My father then joins, joins us, uh, rushing from work to see his new baby and wife. Uh, my godfather, Randolph Syracuse, joins them. Here my grandfather strikes a bemused pose, looking at Carol in her carriage, not quite knowing what to make of all of this. And there's Carol, beautiful little baby. Here in Bill and I, in our post-war exuberance, wearing our war surplus, uh, navy caps and our cousin Joe Locasto are spending our last days in Brooklyn before we move to Lindbrook. I left this in because I thought you might be interested in seeing the native Sicilian dress. That's my mother now beginning to show Carol off on the street. being the reason that we're going to move to Long Island so that we can raise her in a quote unquote safe environment. That's Rosalie walking across the street in front of our uh, tenement house. Asking Bill and I to join her and uh, young Joe Locasto as well. You didn't see me hit Bill. This is the final affair I can remember in Brooklyn. This is my first Holy Communion, and it's a bittersweet time in that I'm very unhappy to leave the surroundings that I always loved uh, in Brooklyn. To my parents, however, it was quite a move up, and they uh, really looked forward to moving to Long Island and to becoming part of the middle class in the suburbs of uh, Long Island.
See you around, everybody. We'll see you in Lindbergh. God bless you, Brooklyn. I always miss you.